What's up everybody? Welcome back to another movie review. Today we are talking about The Empire Strikes Back Star Wars Episode 5. Woo! This one is the original trilogy's sequel, right? And when you think of, you know, a trilogy or whatever, most of the time, the first one is always the best. The second one always kind of lets people down. Um, you know, so it's very rare that after a first movie comes out, the second one ups the game and makes it so much better. And I was seeing a bunch of things that, like, George Lucas, you know, obviously the budget was much better, uh, but he made so much money on the movie that he didn't wasn't stingy with it. Like, the what's currently going on with the fucking studio heads holding all this money and not paying their writers and actors. They should pay those motherfuckers. They're the ones that we really love, you know, and make the projects great. But <laughs> George Lucas gave like $5 million worth of bonuses to all his people. And in 1980, that's a lot of money. So, you know, shout out to him for sharing the wealth for the people that made the movie. Um, but Empire Strikes Back, man, is so freaking good. Hoth, you know, it, and it surprisingly holds up so well. The stop motion animation. The the only thing I think that George Lucas, right, he went back to A New Hope and changed some things and updated, like, revis re revisited it and, and made some things look better, like added a lizard. All of a sudden, at one point, there's like a cut of a giant lizard walking across the screen. You're like, I would have rather just seen whatever was the first original shot. Um, I still think there should be an option to, to like, go on uh, Disney+. Plus right how other movies have you can watch widescreen or you can watch the IMAX version right you should be able to go I want to watch the re revisited one of whenever George Lucas had updated it or I want to watch the 1977 OG one I want to see the one that just says Star Wars I don't even want to see the new I want to see what it originally came out as because I would like to experience it like that you know what I mean um but a new Ho or Empire Strikes Back is so freaking good and the one thing that i saw that they like revisited i'm sure they probably did some other stuff but the one thing that they revisited that is 100 percent better is that they put emperor palpatine my emperor palpatine from revenge of the sith as emperor palpatine because this original 1980s version looks so bad like just his face you know not even necessarily the hologram just the face looks so bad but i'll give him credit that revisited version uh, with the, what, I, I, I'm sorry to the man's name, I'm blanking on it right now, but the original it didn't look very good, it had crappy prosthetic eyes, so seeing that Emperor Alpatine is much better, uh, considering by the time we get to, I think, Revenge of the, uh, Return of the Jedi, he's, you know, sitting in the chair, he has to do the turnaround, you know, like, you know, it's much better once we see that emperor you know uh but opening up on hoth you know the hoth planet and the stop motion like it surprisingly holds up even today very freaking well um it's not perfect but like still like for a movie 1980 it came it looks great and here's a guy behind the scenes doing the stop motion you can see that it was a miniature scale um I, I love miniatures. I've I've come to love watching movies and older movies when you go, how do they do this? This looks amazing. And then you find out that it's really like miniatures, like one fourth scale sets, and they they put so much detail into. Like the people that do miniatures and stuff like that, like uh, Adam Savage did a bunch of miniature uh, of the planes on Star Trek and, and in Star Wars. Like it, it, just miniatures. I wish they did more of that today. Uh, today it's mo mostly oh, it's 100% CGI because we have the technology to do it. But I think if we mix the CGI and miniatures, oh, it just it, it looks so good. Like some miniatures just look flawless. You know what I mean? Like they're just so fun. Uh, but you know, the Hoth planet. Maybe it's just because I like snow. Uh, but seeing Luke. Get taken by a wampa, you know, and then you're like, oh shit, what happened to Luke? He's gone. He's gonna freeze to death. And then he, you know, he uses the force, gets the saber, slices off a wampa's arm. You know, this poor wampa has no arm now, but he was eating my tauntaun. You know, so and this wampa is just kind of. Yeah, I remember as a kid seeing this wampa face, and I was terrified. Um, you know, he's, <clears throat> you know, he's just so ugly. But like, you know, for some reason, I thought like the like a, a, a um, what am I? You know, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, the, the abominable, like, snowman uh, from, like, Monsters, Inc. Hey! You know, he's got lemon. He's got yellow snow. <laughs> you don't know where that's from. Don't eat it. Uh, <laughs> but, 
yeah, something about like the abominable snowman and Hoth, you know, bringing Wampas into the situation and how it starts on Hoth and then he goes to Dagobah, he meets Yoda, you know, and Yoda, you know, looks much worse than the Yoda we get in the first uh, uh, prequel trilogy. You know, I, I, you know, I get it CGI, it doesn't look quite as great. And it was a puppet and it, what they did was crazy for 1980. Um, I like that they updated it for, you know, the, the newer movies. But, you know, you still have to give props to what they did. Because that Yoda was still, do or do not. There is no try. You know, there's still some really great lines. The writing in the second one's much better. The action's much better. The lightsaber duels, much better, right? Like, Darth Vader, even Darth Vader himself is still so much more menacing. This meditation chamber. I think he goes through like three or four admirals. Like he just keeps choking people out. You're like, God damn it, Vader. Like just keep killing folks. But finally, the you know, this movie just has that great payoff. By the end of it, you're like this great fight. He chops off his arm. You know, Luke's, ah, my hand. He gets that metal hand just like his pops, you know. But he, Luke. I am your father, right? Like I, I can't wait to like have kids and show them this movie, but show them four, five, six, one, two, three, and make them understand that this is how it came out. Cause it's gonna like seeing their face. I think I watched maybe four, five, six, one, two, three as well. But I also was a kid, so like one, two, three, I was like, this is the way it's supposed to be. One, two, three, four, five. You know, just like my brain couldn't concept that a movies four, five, and six came out first you know it made, it really makes no sense if you really think about it but george had this plan he was like listen we're gonna do a new hope and if i'm lucky enough to do a second one we're gonna go further but a new hope is the fourth movie right there's movies that happened before this how obi-wan and darth vader's rivalry came to be how darth vader ended up in this suit right like i love that they tell that story i love that we get to know anakin but it's sad because Hayden Christensen is so great and I really loved Anakin growing up. But then he turns into Darth Vader and then you're like, ah, oh, no, fuck. He's killing younglings. He's killed Padme with his anger, you know. But Darth Vader as a character, so menacing. I think he looks much better here. I think they went more of a black uh, sunglass eyeball instead of the red. I think the suit itself looks a little bit better. Um... You know, in the sword fighting is a little bit better. He uses more one hand. It's not just, you know, like I felt the sword fighting in A New Hope just wasn't very good. Um, it's still not the best sword fighting we've gotten in Star Wars, but I'll tell you what, it is much better. And for this movie, I gave it five out of five stars. I am, uh, after watching that last night, after not seeing it for a long time, and really sitting down and really enjoying it. Like, I pretty much turned off my phone. I was like, get that out of here. I don't even need it. I am enjoying my Sunday. It, I, I recommend it. Uh, recently, I've been making Sundays Star Wars Day. Just like, you know, on a Sunday, I believe, is the Lord's Day. You should do nothing on a Sunday. You should have a personal day on a Sunday. You should do whatever the hell you want to do. If you want to go out, go out. But me personally, on a Sunday, I'm recovering from mouth surgery. I just had wisdom teeth out last week. I had my father's uh, funeral passing, you know, over the weekend. So for me, on a Sunday, all I wanted to do yesterday was relax. So I watched season, I finished season three of Rebels. And then around four, five, six o'clock after dinner, I took the dog for a walk. Then I put on Star Wars and I watched Empire Strikes Back and then I had a great time doing it and it was awesome. I put my sound system up a little higher than normal because um, I knew no one was sleeping yet so I'm sitting there and I was just enjoying it. I put swiveled my TV out so I could lay in bed and really enjoy myself, propped up my pillows all nice, you know, so it was a good time and I highly recommend if you are a Star Wars fan like me, through this Ahsoka series, week by week, I'm just diving full into Star Wars stuff. Um, if you see the channel this week, <laughs> my mind is still scatterbrained, so I'll still be doing other things. I can't just do specifically one thing, I get bored of it, right? And then I'll just never touch it again. So I gotta pace myself, right? So I, I, when I'm bored of just doing video games, making videos, whatever I'm doing work, then I'll go and watch like Rebels, right? If I don't want to sit down and watch two hours or something, I want to just get 30 minutes, 30 minutes, a couple things done, 
I'll do that. Or if it's like say 11 o'clock, I haven't been, I've been busy all day and I just got home, I'll put on, you know, a show instead of putting on a movie at 11 o'clock and staying up till one in the morning, watch a couple episodes of Rebels, go, go to bed at midnight, you know, reasonable time, wake up at 8 a.m., get my eight hours of sleep. Uh, but right now I'm fully in Star Wars mode. I'm loving it. I uh, love the Star Wars universe. And, you know, uh, even though Return of the Jedi isn't my favorite movie, I think this one might be my favorite Star Wars movies of all time. But after we completely finish the, the Star Wars rewatch, we'll talk about which is my favorite. But I want to hear from you guys. What is your favorite Star Wars movie? Comment below. What is your favorite Star Wars show? Animation, live action, doesn't matter. But I would love to hear what is your favorite Star Wars thing out there. Also, what is your favorite character? Uh, for me, it might be Ahsoka because I'm recently biased and it's just such a great character. Darth Vader, such a great character. Uh, but if I really had to pick one, my boy. You know, Chewbacca, Chewie, always going to be great. Han Solo, always going to be great. Just a bunch of great characters, you know what I'm saying? Uh, ironically, I don't really like Luke all that much, but I love Mark Hamill, right? You know, so it's a weird, you know, Luke, Luke Skywalker in the OG trilogy. I really don't love all that much, but, you know, he is a, a, a focal point. So he does destroy the Death Star. He does do his thing. So he is he is a stud, you know, but he kisses his sister. That's just weird. <laughs> um, he didn't know it yet, but still, like, come on. He was like, she's so beautiful. I'm like, listen, buddy, I, I don't care what you're doing. There's some party that still goes... Something doesn't feel right. I think this girl's my sister. You know, <laughs> like just uh, just George Lucas doing some incest shit back in the seventies. God damn. And I say that, but I'm also a fan of Game of Thrones, and there's a bunch of incest and crazy shit in that. But I guess it's the setting you're in. You know, even though that's a more modern show, it's just set in such a crazy time that it just kind of makes sense. You're like, yeah, fuck it. The fucking people doing crazy shit in medieval times. You know, whatever. There was dragons flying around. You know, you kind of separate it a little bit. Even though there's lightsaber space, you know, I should be able to separate it. I guess I'm just an idiot. But comment below. Am I an idiot? No. <laughs> comment below your favorite Star Wars. I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, all my links in the description below. Hit me up on Twitter. Send me your thoughts. Send me movie recommendations, Star Wars or not. I would love to hear what movies I should watch next. Um, please tell me to watch Godfather. I would love some people to get on my ass for that because those are some movies I feel like I have to see. They're just so long that I've never gotten around to it, but I feel like they're my type of movie, you know what I'm saying? But I also feel I need to heal my mouth so I can get back to, you know, eating regular food and doing regular shit, smoking a blunt and chilling, you know, like doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? So do, do you have a great weekend and uh, we'll be talking about Ahsoka later this week. I have more movie reviews coming to the channel. I have uh, Fantastic Four, the terrible one, and I have Rise of the Planet of the Apes coming to the channel. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.